My name is Shervin Shafi, and I'm a Principal Technical Specialist at Microsoft. If you're a first-time viewer, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you very much for joining us again. Today, we're going to be talking about Teams Phone Mobile. Now, you might think you know what this is, but you're probably not right. It's not the application, the Teams application that lives on your mobile device, your iPhone or your Android. It's not that at all. It's something completely different. I'd like to think of it as Teams phone on mobile reimagined. It's completely different than what you're used to in the past. So in this video, we'll be talking about what that is, how it works, who it's for, when it's coming out, all those details. I have lots of great screenshots. And this, by the way, is very similar to a customer presentation that I will normally be doing for my customers. So think of yourself as my customer today. And so welcome. Now, before we get into it, I'd like you to check out this video because I think it does a really good job of showing you what Teams Phone Mobile is at a high level. So check it out. Microsoft Teams made more possible. And now with the workforce more mobile than ever, Teams Phone Mobile offers a next level Teams experience, ensuring that wherever you need to be, a single number guarantees you will never miss a call. By utilizing Teams Phone Mobile, you will now get a simultaneous ring across all devices. Answering your phone using the native dialer will update both your presence and status. And thanks to the uplift feature, you can effortlessly transfer calls from your native dialer to Teams without worrying about dropping the call. With a combined call log and voicemail, Teams Phone Mobile is connectivity redefined. With all these new features, Teams Phone Mobile offers enterprise-grade security and privacy. Online or on the go, never miss a call. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was this guy on the camel and I was on my Teams Phone Mobile, I mean, I think you're probably working too hard to be in the desert uh, fielding calls. And you can kind of see even from the guy that's basically holding the reins, he's kind of like looking at the guy saying, what are you doing? But overall, I thought it was a good video and I think it gives you an overview of what Teams Phone Mobile is. But let's dive into it a little bit deeper. So you might have seen my previous videos where I talk about Microsoft Teams Phone and the different ways you can connect to it from a PSDN, the public switch telephony aspect, which is what really makes it more of a phone than a peer-to-peer -peer calling platform. And so if we look at this high level, first we have like the Microsoft PSDN that includes Microsoft Teams calling plans and audio conferencing that Microsoft includes as well. And then we have the operator side, kind of bring your own PSDN if you will, which is composed of either operator connect or direct routing operator connect conferencing and then new is teams phone mobile so you can kind of see where this fits in from an overview perspective but let's think about microsoft teams and why it's so important first right because i think microsoft teams as a platform thanks to all of you is growing quite rapidly over 270 million active users as of october 2022 we have about 80 million people that are using Teams for voice over IP peer-to-peer -peer calling and about 12 million that have Teams phone for PSCN activated, which is twice as many as last year. So Teams phone is growing rapidly, again, thanks to all of you, and we're expecting it to continue a very good growth rate well into the future. Now, Teams phone mobile really unlocks the power of mobility in your organization. And it does this with four different elements. Number one, we're bringing a single phone number that you can use on your mobile device. Think of it as a SIM card that you put into your iPhone, your, your, your Android device. And that same carrier that's giving you that number on your mobile device is, is giving you the number on your team's phone device. So one number, one network, and you'll see the benefits of it in just a second. That also enables a lot of security and compliance. 
Think about the fact that now you can actually record conversations on mobile devices for your workforce. So for example, if you have a contact center agent that is part of a queue that is using Teams phone mobile, for compliance reasons, their calls can be recorded. And then you really have true mobile integration now because you're not locked into necessarily using this wonderful Teams app that we have but natively the phones, dial pad and contact list and voicemail, all of those things can get synced up to Teams, the application, so that when you go back to your desk and you're using Teams, everything is synced up across your devices. And then finally, from a cost perspective, you can reduce costs, right? Because now you have one carrier that's providing you numbers, one number in two different places and that's eventually going to help you reduce costs as well. So lots of great reasons. When we initially launch the Teams phone mobile product, it's going to come with these 10 features. And right now it's actually out with two carriers in the world, but more and more of these carriers are going to be enabled. And so you'll see uh, it available across the world soon. But if you look at this list, First, obviously, you'll be able to make and receive calls and then hand it off between devices. And then you can also transfer the calls. There's a combined call history, presence integration, which I'll show you, voicemail integration, the compliance um, and recording capabilities that we talked about, and then how you can show your company's main number instead of your mobile number if you choose to do so. Um, adding mobile numbers to call queues for that agent scenario that I explained and obviously the reliability of your uh, cell provider, right? So these are 10 benefits right out of the get-go with Teams Phone Mobile. Now today we are launching in October of 2022 with Rogers and I believe Telia as well in Sweden. So in Canada and Sweden, this is live. And very soon, we're gonna be having it with these following providers as well. Verizon, British Telecom, Swisscom, and Deutsche Telekom. So it's gonna be expanding even further from these. So make sure you look out for these providers in your Teams Admin Center. And I'll show you a screenshot of that in just a minute so you know where to look. Now here's some really, really great news, right? Because the Microsoft Teams phone, when you are able to add a number, is a license that you either add to an E3 or it comes with your E5. But this Teams phone mobile is basically just part of that license, which is phenomenal because we're not charging you anything additional for this incredible functionality that our teams have built. It just comes with the phone system license you'll be paying something to these providers like Rogers and Verizon and so on for the number service that they're providing you in your mobile and your office line as well. But Microsoft is not charging anything additional, which is fantastic. Now let's look at the experience a little bit. What does it look like? Well, first, when you get your number, you get this digital SIM or manual SIM that you insert into your device, you get greeted by this wizard that looks something like this. Is this your number? Yes. And then it says setting up calls in Teams because this element of Teams that the service provider is integrating to Teams on the back end and your phone as well, everything is being synchronized and that's being done on your behalf through this initial wizard. When you do have it set up, then the idea is that whether you're using a native dialer or your team's desktop or the mobile app that you can have on your, um, on your device as well, you have simultaneous ringing. So no matter where you are, you won't be missing any of these calls. Now there's also a very easy uplift feature where if you initially get your call on the native dialer of say your iPhone, you can switch it to the Teams app by launching the Teams app, then you get greeted with this move calls to Teams, and then you can have additional functionality. So the reason you would do this is if you got a call on your iPhone, maybe you wanna have a video call or you wanna add additional participants or 
maybe you want to share a document. So variety of reasons of why you'd want to do it. You can also transfer calls in Teams. So again, if a call comes in and you pick up inside the Teams mobile application, you can transfer it to someone that is either a contact of yours in Teams or transfer it to someone's mobile number. Now, what about if you don't want to show your mobile number? You want to kind of keep that private. Well, we have that as well with the company branding where regardless of where you're placing calls from, your native dialer or the Teams mobile app, you can have the main number of your corporation being sent to the recipient, blocking your phone number. We also have the concept of unified presence. So whether, again, you're using the native dialer uh, or the Teams application, you basically have your presence status updated to show that you're in a call, which is fantastic, right? Again, because you're just using your native mobile device. We also have synchronization across devices for your call history. So everything that comes in or the, the calls that you make out from your mobile device show up inside the call history of Teams and the voicemails too. So voicemails that you receive natively on your iPhone or your Android show up including the transcription inside the Teams applications, which is fantastic. Now let's look at this from an admin experience. What does this look like? You might be familiar with this setting or this, um, this screen, right? Which is your Teams Admin Center. And inside there, if you go under Voice to Operator Connect, you'll see the different providers that are set up for Operator Connect. Now you can see here that there's, there are um, words like OCM, which is Operator Connect Mobile, or Operator Connect Calling, or Audio Conferencing. So depending on the provider, they'll either have these as checked next to them or not. And again, today it's only Rogers and Telia, but soon you'll see more and more of these. And so this is the process of you basically going in and subscribing to one of these providers. Once you have that relationship established and the numbers show up in your portal, then you can basically go to your active users, select the user, manage the licenses and give them either an E5 license or if they have an E3, add the phone system license. Um, these are things that you would do for any user if you wanna basically give them a phone number. And then finally, the process of giving phone numbers is similar as before, right? The phone numbers show up in your Teams Admin Center, so you just assign them to that user and make sure that they have an emergency location as well. So very simple. Now that person has a Teams phone number on their mobile device, as well as their traditional desk phone. So what's next, right? This is already such a wonderful solution, but we're not done yet. We never are at Microsoft and we're always working on the next great thing. So let's look at some of these future capabilities. One, BYOD. Um, now, my understanding is actually you can bring your own device today. It's not like your iPhone or your Android has to be bought by your company. The plan is, the number plan is purchased uh, by your enterprise and rolled out to you, but your device, I believe, can be your own. And if you think this is otherwise, let me know in the comments section. But what we don't have is the ability for you to have a personal number and a work number on the same mobile device. Phones can actually have multiple numbers using digital SIM cards. Uh, today, but that capability doesn't exist in our software. So this is a roadmap item for us. And by the way, if we had the ability for us to bring a personal number, then I would use Teams Phone Mobile, but because of that, I would actually not be a user of it today. Now, we're also going to be doing some great things with 5G and Internet of Things. I don't know what those are, but it looks like those are capabilities we're working on. From a messaging aspect, when you get a text message, we are going to work on incorporating that into Teams so that uh, that conversation can also show up inside Teams. And then the ability to have multiple identities, enable multiple numbers inside Teams, all roadmap items. What about from a resources perspective? I hope you found everything useful, but if you want more information, here are a couple of links that I will put in the description of the video so you can go check, it them, check them out at your own leisure. But basically, there's a blog post 
that just came out from Microsoft Ignite that talks more about Teams Phone Mobile. That's number one. There's a product page that I would encourage you to check at least once a week because it talks about new Operator Connect Mobile providers and capabilities. And then there's also a readiness guide. We just announced that Microsoft Ignite Teams Phone Mobile, so you'll see generally available Rogers and Telia coming soon, the other providers. And then finally, there is the Teams Admin Guide that has so much information on all aspects of Teams, but there's this tab that just got created for Teams Phone Mobile. So if you wanna know more on the admin side, then check that link out as well. And so that is Teams Phone Mobile. I hope you found this session useful and it answered your questions about Teams Phone Mobile. I'm truly excited about this product and it's got a great beginning and a great bright future ahead of it. Make sure you check out some of my other videos where I talk about Teams Phone, Operator Connect, SIP Gateway, E911, all that kind of good stuff. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much and I'll catch you on the next one.